everyone, hope you're all doing well. I wanted to show how easy it is to make some super simple adjustments to clothes that you might own um, that don't fit you quite as well as you would like, just to kind of make them fit you better um, and just kind of show how easy it is to make clothes actually fit us properly. I was inspired to do this by this beautiful dress that I own that I got years and years ago um, from a charity shop but I've never, I've only worn it like once or twice um, just because I feel like it doesn't have that much shape on me and can look nicer. The dress I have is second hand but you can do this with any clothes you own that might not fit you as well as you'd like um, or you just want to experiment and see what you can do with some of your clothes. All we should need to do this um, is just some pins, thread and a sewing machine or a needle and thread if you are feeling brave and have a lot of patience. So let's get started. So this is the dress as it looks at the moment. As you can see, it's not got that much shape, especially at the back, and it's not that flattering. So what I'm gonna do is just put a couple of darts in the back, which will help give it more shape overall. I've put the dress on inside out and I'm just adjusting it while looking in a mirror to make it a shape that I like. I'm then securing it with a couple of pins in the back. Because I've put the dress on to pin it, this is gonna help make it fit my body exactly. This is what it should look like when you're all done. Now I'm just marking with a pencil or you can use some chalk or anything else if you have it, just where the pins went in so that when I take them out it will be marked on the dress. This is what it looks like when you take the pins out. These four points mark the edge of the two darts. Now I'm measuring from the edge of the dress to the star of each dart. This is just to make sure that they start in the same place and so they are even. For me, the distances were a little bit different, so I've just found the midpoint and I'm marking that down as the new star of each dart. I'm also marking the height down from the top of the dress to the dart and this is just to make sure that they're even on both sides. Again for me these weren't quite even so I'm just finding a middle point and marking it to make sure they match up. I'm measuring how wide each dart is and then checking against the other darts so that I can make sure they're even again. Um, this side was a bit wonky so I'm just making sure the points are parallel before I measure how wide the distance is. I should say that you don't need to worry about making this completely perfect. It's good to be accurate, but if your lines aren't completely parallel or completely matching up, it should be fine, especially if you're just doing this for yourself. This is what it should look like. Now I want to find the center point of each dart and mark it. This is important because we'll be using this point to draw up and down from to mark the top and bottom of each dart. Now you want to mark the top and bottom of the darts and link them together in a diamond shape. I found the top and bottom by trying on the dress again and marking where the end of the fold naturally occurred. You can see I did this wrong the first time by the first diamond that's drawn on the dress. So if in doubt, try it on again and you can't go wrong. I'm also extending the line down the middle of the dart which helps ensure that everything is in line with each other. Okay. 
The darts I've drawn are quite long because I'm taking quite a lot of material so therefore it needs more space to kind of stretch out down the dress. This is what it should look like when you're all done. To sew it together, first fold it along the center line and pin it in place. We're gonna sew it along this line. I'm sewing the dart just from top to bottom, but I think if you're doing it super properly, you should go from the middle and then down, and then the middle and then up to make sure the tension is even on both sides. I'm also stitching back on myself at the beginning and end to stop the thread running. That means if you're hand sewing, you should do a back stitch at the start and end. After we've sewed both sides up, we're finished. This is what mine looked like when I finished. As you can see, the back is much more kind of shaped to my body and the front is kind of more pulled in at the waist as well. I think it looks a lot nicer. Let me know if this video has been helpful. I'd love to hear in the comments below whether you've tried it out as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.